Hi, love buns. It's Heidi, and welcome to Always Heidi. Ah! Oh my goodness, it is almost the end of May. Um, ah, oh, my thing just fell out of my hair. No, get back up there. Um, today I had um, my daughter, Lexanasia, do my makeup and hair, and there's like this really cute little thing in my hair. I don't know if you can see it. But it's like sliding out because my hair is just, it's a little oily right now. <laughs> but yeah, she totally did my hair and makeup. So let me know if you like it. And right now I am just sitting inside my bedroom. It is like forever at night. Hold on. Let me see what time it is real quick. Give me a sec. It's like 10 o'clock at night. <clears throat> probably like 10 30 um yeah it's pretty late and it's pretty dark and the only light that's on is that one up there that horrible horrible light that tries to murder me um but that's okay because <laughs> um <clears throat> yeah I'm okay with it <laughs> I just have to make sure that when I put my phone up it's kind of sort of blocking the light almost but just don't look up too much. Anyway, guys, <laughs> I hope that you're having a great end of May. Um, Memorial Day has passed, and we are getting on to the end of the month. And by the end of the month, all of you should be like, oh, no, it's June here in Texas. Because for those of you who don't live in Texas, June is the beginning of the hot months, which are June, July, August. And... You, you can't even breathe sometimes. It, the humidity is just so bad. But, um, <clears throat> yes. And now because, like, you can't really travel too much, like, around and, like, go places without worrying about coronavirus, I really don't want to, like, travel to New York <laughs> to visit my family because I'm, like, seriously worried. Like, ah, oh, I'm going to enjoy the weather, but I might get sick. So, <laughs> we'll see. We will see. Okay, so I wanted to come on the live stream. I wanted to say hey to all of you guys. I wanted to just talk about um, little things, just a little bit. So that's the title of uh, today's video is just a little bit. And when I'm talking about just a little bit, I'm not talking about food. And I'm not talking about what you say to somebody when they ask you, hey, do you want some? And you say just a little bit. Now, I'm talking about just a little bit. The little things that we do every day that sometimes we feel that people take for granted. So I have been inspired to talk today to you guys. Oh my goodness, my dog is snoring. About um, just every little bit that we do in our daily lives. So let's start off with this. If you're new on the live stream, hey, I'm Heidi and welcome. Mwah. If you've been here before, um, welcome back. <laughs> if you're here to see this mug, I'm sorry. Um, I don't have any of my kids with me, so if any of you um, put up comments or questions, queries, something funny, I won't be able to see it until later, but please don't let that stop you. Please put up as many comments as possible. Later on in the day, I really, I really do love reading all your comments. Like, it really cheers me up, like, so well, so well. All right, so just a little bit. Let's talk about that. The little bit, the little things that we do that make a big difference in other people's lives. When I was a kid, just a little, little backstory. When I was a kid, I used to be like, ha 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 all the time. I ask, ask anyone who knew me from the age of like, like seven to 16. That was like my whole my whole life was, ha, <laughs> um, because I had read something somewhere that if you smile, 
if you give somebody a smile, smiles will come back at you. Like if you put something good out there, something back will happen. Something back, not back, but something good will happen back. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Um, but yeah, and then I was just like, oh, I'm going to just be happy all the time because I want people to love me, support me, um, be friends with me, everything. And so I'm just going to put that out there all the time. And it became like I was obsessed with it. it. It's falling out again. Oh, it became like an obsession where I had to like all the time be happy even if I wasn't. And what I didn't know, Tom, we can, I don't know if they can hear you on the live stream. So <laughs> yeah, I told you I already started the live stream. Oh. Yeah. So yeah. Um, he's in the bathroom. So, <laughs> but, um, so yeah, I was, I was like obsessed with getting this, this back. Like if you smile, somebody will smile back at you. If you say hi, they should say hi back to you. It was just something that was little, but it became a big, big obsession with me. And if you knew me during this time, you knew that. I could be as sad as um, sad could be in school or inside a house, but the minute I was outside, I was like so social and I was like, hey, oh my gosh, friend. And it was really scary um, to most people. And I know it is because that's how my kids are. And now I know how I looked. <laughs> okay. Anyway, back to what I was talking about. It wasn't until like years later. Um, when I graduated, I graduated when I was 18 years old. Hey, Helen, hi. Um, and somebody had wrote inside my yearbook, I want to thank you so much for smiling at me every day. I'm not even kidding. This is someone who I barely knew. I don't even remember their name. And no, I don't have my yearbook anymore because I did lose my yearbook during Harvey. Um, I didn't like lose it, but it got completely destroyed during um, the flood of the hurricane. Okay, so anyway, um, I had remembered that inside my yearbook, that was something that they wrote. And this was someone I didn't even know well. And I was like, what? Somebody wrote this about me? So I looked at the name and then I looked up their picture and I was like, I don't even remember smiling at this person. I don't even know this person. But for them to write it in my yearbook, to say thank you for all the years of like every single day that, you know, like we, we show up to homeroom or um, apparently they followed me from middle school. So I was like, yay, <laughs> someone remembers me. <laughs> they remembered me smiling. Now, unfortunately, I got out of that habit once I hit college. Once I hit college, I was like, I'm going to be a bad girl and I'm going to do like mean things. I'm going to be like a thug. I'm going to do thug life mm, like that, you know, all that. I'm going to be a whole hot mess. I'm going to be a disgrace to my whole family and friends. Yay. And um, I was cool with that. And then I became a parent. And then once again, life changed. I still wasn't smiling. I still wasn't as happy. I, I didn't make it um, an obsession anymore to make sure that everyone felt inclusive around me. And then I actually didn't start thinking about that until um, we moved into the house a few years ago. And I started saying hi to all the neighbors. And of course, all my neighbors were like, yep, that one's weird. And I thought it was weird too. But for some reason, I just felt like I wanted, I wanted to say hi to people. I wanted to wear that smile. I wanted to just be out and about and just act like life was gorgeous, even if it wasn't. And you know what? To this day, that's honestly what I do when I'm out. I make sure I smile. I make sure I'm like super peppy when I talk to people. And it helps. It helps with my mood and it helps with their mood and you know what it's just one little bit it's just one little thing one little a smile a smile and a great attitude to go with it you can't really smile and have a nasty attitude well maybe you could yeah but I don't think that's me though 
So yeah, just a little bit, just a little bit can really brighten someone's day. Just a little bit could really push someone forward. Maybe you have a friend like who's always freaking happy and you're just like, bro, tone it down, chill for a bit. Because that's what people used to say to me. Actually, there was a phrase they had for me. It was, um, it was, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even remember. Maybe my mom can remember for me. It was like, it was kind of like tone it down. It was, um, mm, I can't even remember. But when I, re when I remember, I'll let you guys know. My nose is itching. <laughs> when my daughter did my makeup, I feel like maybe some of the um, little brushes got on my nose. Oh, it's falling again. Hold on. I can feel it just tripping down. So I'm really happy she did my makeup tonight. And I hope it looks extra awesome. Um, oh, never mind. It just fell off. Ah, I can't find it. Oh, here it is. Ah, there it is. Sorry, Lexine. It fell. Because uh, as you can see, my hair is greasy. I have to keep um, I have to keep oils in it because of my skin condition. So, mm, oh well. But okay. Oh, simmer down. That's that's what my parents used to say. Used to say simmer down, because like my excited level would be like off the chain. And they'd be like simmer down, just push it down some. All right. So another little bit that we can talk about is something that I didn't do for somebody else, but something somebody did for me. This may sound like something so small and so minuscule, but it meant so much. So not too long ago. <clears throat> My daughter and I uh, were shopping at Sam's Club, okay? And um, at, this, at this time, it was probably in, it was uh, maybe April where we were shopping at Sam's Card or something like that. And, um, or Sam's Card, Sam's Club. Uh, and um, the card that my husband had used, it happened to be a card that was no longer um, working because we needed to like upgrade it or something. I don't even know, but it, something was wrong with the card, the Sam's Club card. So you, you swipe the card. If you're not sure what this is, it's just this card that you swipe so you can become like a Sam's Club member. So you can get like the values and deals and stuff like that. Not sponsored by Sam's Club. Nah, but it was just like this whole thing where we got the things that we needed from Sam's Club. It's like a wholesale place. And then we took it to pay for it. And then they swiped the card and we were going to pay in cash. And when they swiped this little card, they're just like, I'm sorry, this card isn't working for whatever reason and blah, blah. I'm like, um, okay, but it should work. And then the lady's like, no, I, I swiped it twice. It's not working, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, well, what are we going to do? Like we came all the way over here and... We got food. Can we just pay? And she's like, no, you need to be a member. And I'm like, okay. Oh my gosh. Just look up the phone number. I'll give you the phone number. You look up the phone number, please. Could you do that, please? And she's like, no, that's not how we do it here. And I'm like, oh, okay. Because <laughs> in most other stores, that's honestly how they do it. They say, well, give me your phone number and we're going to look it up by the phone number. But at Sam's Club, they don't. They really want that. They want that swipe. So as we're sitting there, my daughter, I'm like not looking at her, but I'm like tilting my head in her direction. Like, no, what do we do? And she was like, she had said exactly what I thought. She's like, mom, what do we do? And I'm just like, we fight him. No, <laughs> I, I was thinking that, but it's not something that you would do. And I was just like frustrated. We needed that food. And a guy came from behind us <clears throat> And he came and he said, just use my card. And the lady was like, well, they can't use your card. And he's like, if I'm telling you that they can use my card, just swipe my card. And he was like, yeah, just, it's fine. Just swipe it. So she swiped it and went through just fine. We were able to make our purchase. I turned around to thank him. And my daughter tapped me. She's like, because, you know, I turn around and I'm just like, oh my gosh, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. This is like a week's worth of food. And you're just awesome. Thank you so much. Can I have your name? And like, you know, Lexi's like tapping me. She's like, there's nobody there. He left already. And I was like, what? what? Why would somebody leave? Why would somebody not want to thank you? And she's just like, I don't know. And it just baffled me that he would just do that little bit. 
that little bit from the kindness of his heart to make sure that we were able to get something. Now, we did find out later um, about the card, uh, my husband's card, and he just got a new card, and that's all it was. But that little bit, that little bit of kindness that the person showed to us, amazing. They went out of their way for us. It wasn't about me going out of my way for somebody else. They showed a little bit of kindness. And you guys, that little bit of kindness can go far. And I am so sorry I'm talking so much. If you or anyone that you know has either shown or received a little bit of kindness that really made your day extra special, let me know in the comments down below. Seriously, I love reading these kind of stories. I love it when you guys are able to share your life with me. Um, that's all I really wanted to share with you guys, that a little bit of kindness can go a long, long way. It can really make or break a day. And in our case, it really made our week because that was our week shopping. So anyway, I love you guys. And just comment down below what your little bit of kindness, either that you've received or that you've given and what it was and the effect that it had on you. I want to remind you guys that um, my GoFundMe is still up for my Iris Vision. I will be ordering it next week. I am so excited for this. I'm finally going to be able to read my posts as you guys post them. I'm ah, so, so excited, so excited. And be able to sit next to my husband on the couch and watch TV. That's like a huge thing. I haven't done that. How long haven't I done that, sweetie? In like almost three years, right? I, I'm talking to you, babe. I haven't been able to sit on the couch with my husband and watch television. I just sit on the couch and I look ahead of me and like I see this wall of white. Shining white light. So this is going to be so huge to be able to sit with him and snuggle with him. It'd be cute. I know. I know. And ah, so excited. So guys, next week, that's when I'm getting my iris vision. I really want to thank you guys so much for all your love and support. And if you don't know who loves you, always Heidi. Mwah. Bye, guys.